Well, just moments ago, uh, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, who said she had a scheduling conflict and could not appear at that hearing, and instead went to Phoenix to go to one of the HHS call centers, had a brief availability, a question and answer session with reporters. Here was one of her comments. The majority of people calling for me to resign, I would say, are people who I don't work for and who do not want this program to work in the first place. I have had frequent conversations with the president, and I've committed to him that my role is to get the program up and running, and we will do just that. Steve, what's your takeaway from those comments and, and more broadly from today's hearing? Well, uh, she's right about her characterization of those calling for her resignation. Uh, but I think, of course, she could resign. As a matter of basic competence, she's failed. And so has her, uh, her department. And there's no question she should resign. Republicans focusing on that, I think, are distra are, that's a distraction. It's not as important as the substantive questions that I think some Republicans attempted to ask today and didn't really get many answers to, as you suggested. I thought one very interesting moment in the hearing came when Cheryl Campbell from the sort of the, the main contractor responsible for the CGI. website, CGI, uh, was asked about these elusive enrollment numbers. What are the enrollment numbers? And she didn't say, we don't have enrollment numbers. She didn't say nobody's done that tally. What she said is, I didn't bring them here today. And even if I had, I would have to get permission from CMS in order to share them with you. That suggests you don't that think the